like to ask a question, and Dr. Shockley, if you could answer it, uh, yes or no, I would appreciate it. Do you believe that black people are inferior in intelligence because of their heredity? I have a standard statement. It is not yes or no. It's memorized. I say at the same time every, every time, I think. What I say is this. My research leads me, and it's a tragic conclusion, really. Uh, my research leads me inescapably to the opinion that the major cause of the American Negro's intellectual and social deficits is hereditary and racially genetic in origin and thus not remediable to a major degree by practical improvements in environment. All right, if you believe... Freeze it! A counter-racist scientist must have a bottom line. The white supremacists have a bottom line. It's called white supremacy. Dr. Shockley has stated the problem. Non-white people are incapable of being improved. Instead of endless discussion and debate, the counter-racist scientist must use code to fast-forward the discussion by asking them a question that forces the racist suspect to reveal their bottom line. In other words, what are you going to do about it? Let's see if Tony Brown uses counter-racist code. That uh, the position relatively of black Americans to white Americans is based on a genetic inferiority, and I will, I will accept the responsibility for that word, uh, then what do you see as the solution to the problem? Well, I see the first uh, aspect of this is to prevent the problem from becoming worse by dysgenics. This first word Would that, you, I, uh, that translate I mentioned. Dysgenics for I, me in the audience. Uh, what Would I that be sterilization? Is, no. Dysgenics, you see, means what that other chart I showed you says. Should blacks, the least effective element. Should blacks be sterilized? Uh, no. I have a... Uh, this but if then blacks gets are a problem the, and, we, and we do not allow... This is inhumane. And I think one can find more humane solutions to this. Well, then, then how would, then, then, I would propose something in which one of the key clauses, phrases, is regardless of sex, race, or welfare status. And this is the proposal. I call it a thinking exercise. It's mentioned in that pamphlet that I showed that you can obtain. Um, and it goes this way, that you would offer a bonus to everyone to be sterilized. Freeze it. It takes direct, focused questions to force a racist suspect to reveal their bottom line. Dr. Shockley is suggesting offering bonuses. But what is his bottom line? What about the non-white people unwilling to accept his offer? Perhaps he has another offer, just for them. But I digress. The key is getting to the bottom line. Because when it's all said and done, that's really all you are dealing with. We know we have a population explosion problem. We know that in India, that bonuses in the form of transistor radios would are offered this bonus to be, Would this bonus be directed to black people specifically? More Mr. than white? Brown, Mr. Brown, what did I say just a moment ago? I said, regardless of sex, race, or welfare status. Now there is a group. There's a group uh, that's of, what I say. Uh, there is a group of white people to whom this offer this, should be made. Also, absolutely. Now the offer, the, the offer is based. The offer is based upon the best estimates, best scientific estimates that one can have of any genetically carried disabilities. Now there are some I think that any humane person would have no doubt about. And uh, Dr. Welsing talked about dominant and recessive genes. I want to point out that sometimes a dominant gene can be a very bad thing, and it is a very bad thing but not for a neurological disease called <coughs> Huntington's chorea, which is something which like is multiple sclerosis. Which is more prominent in white people than black people. That is correct. And I mm -hmm. think that one should offer a large bonus for any one who might be Dr. potentially Shockley. carrying Huntington's career. Dr. Shockley, Beyond are you this, aware? it goes on with some other factors in this, but Dr. Welsing wishes you, to speak. Are you aware that white people have more genetic diseases that affect their nervous system than people of color, than black people? I wouldn't be at all surprised. And I think now, blacks would you have, suggest, uh, apparently would you have suggest higher that all problems. of these, would you suggest that all of these white people who are carrying these defective genes you know, whose families may carry these defective genes, that they be examined and su it would be suggested to them that they be sterilized. Would you suggest this? Yes, I think I would probably. In cut, 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 cut. That's a wrap. Wrap it up, folks. Once a white person suggests mistreating other white people as the solution to the race problem, 
the counter-racist scientists can pretty much end the discussion. Dr. Welsing made a brilliant chess move by daring Dr. Shockley to follow his own logic, and he did. The discussion is now right back to the place it should have never left, a discussion between white people. Sometimes a dominant gene can be a very bad thing, and it is a very bad thing but not for a neurological disease called <laughs> Huntington's chorea, which is something which like is multiple sclerosis. Which is more prominent in white people than black people. That is correct, and mm -hmm. I think that one should offer a large bonus for anyone who might be Dr. potentially Shockley. carrying Huntington's chorea. Dr. Shockley, Beyond are this, you aware? it goes on with some other factors in this, but Dr. Welsing wishes are you, to speak. Are you aware that white people have more genetic diseases that affect their nervous system than people of color than black people? I wouldn't be at all surprised. Would you suggest that all of these white people who are this is code. Welsing and Brown are forcing Dr. Shockley to reveal his bottom line. And, and, and in this case, it involves mistreating white people. Would you suggest this? Yes, I think I would, probably. In his answer was yes, and he tries to qualify it by adding, I think I would, probably, in general. But it's too late for Dr. Shockley to put the shit back in the horse. It came out, it hit the ground, and it stinks! The revelation of truth is where counter-racism earns its money. Because in order to, to determine where to go, you need to know where you are. General. Go ahead, you're on Black Journal, please. Uh, what we know about ancient black civilizations, how can American blacks suddenly be genetically regressed?